the secret library. These are the stairs leading to the secret library. It won't be easy. A veritable maze. Which contorted mind could have built this? A bit of light every now and then can be useful. A golden crucifix and a fine mosaic, portraying figures from ancient legends. Hmm, some pieces seem to be poorly fixed. The cross has leant over slightly. This is not a mosaic. It is a complex mechanism. I found all the hidden pieces, but I am still missing something to release the mechanism. Done! An altar with bas reliefs of horrid animals and creatures. All leaning towards the statue of an angel. Wait a moment. Why doesn't it have a halo? These are not merely stone-carved figures. They are buttons. It seems that the slab in the center is in fact a door. I must find the correct sequence to open it. I have released the mechanism. The angel turned out to be a demon. The person who built this altar clearly understood how often also the church hides the truth behind a veil of lies. This altar is ornate and finely decorated. At the top, Rich bass reliefs and rosettes. Below, rich gold decorations portraying saints adorned with plaques and small relief decorations. In the center, a strange wooden statue. 
What meaning does a carved naked woman have in this setting? Six rosettes have been released. And the central column has moved. <laughs> it seems that once released, every tiny gear releases another. the mechanism. I was right. The woman in the center is the key to the puzzle. The statue of a saint. Under it, a small gem and a lock. To the sides. Two closed doors. By pressing the small red gem, the two side doors opened. This is the real mechanism. Far more complex than the previous ones. But I cannot stop now. The secret library is close at hand. I opened the lock, but the entrance is still closed. I must look around for more clues. A 
strange stuff. A strange stone. A strange stone. A strange. A strange stone. It seems that something is missing. The statue has a number of slots as big as a stone. Nothing. I felt the wall vibrate from the inside. Something a long way from this corridor has been released. It's too dark in here. I can hardly see the tip of my shoes. A bit of light every now and then can be useful. Here it is. At last I have found the secret library. What a sight. Knowledge stored deep in the heart of stone in Kakasong. A metal brazier on a brick base. Eh. I cannot get too close to the books with the candlestick. I could set fire to the place. I could use the central brazier. But I must use something that burns terribly, like a heretic in the fire of hell. It is alarming how many studies are being done on... Red. <laughs> 
ink. Used over the years by the librarians of Carcassonne to mark the forbidden books. Here, to find the Eleusinian mysteries, I must look for a book with a red spine. And ignore all the others. Here are Homer's Eleusinian mysteries. At last I have found it! Hades, god of the underworld, abducts Persephone, and winter falls over the world. Then the rage of Demeter, the mother goddess, she becomes the infernal charioteer and descends into the underworld on a chariot drawn by four monstrous beasts. In her ranks were Diana and Medusa. Her fury was such that Hades agreed to a compromise. He agreed to free Persephone for six months of the year and to restore spring and summer to the world. And thus the cycle of the seasons was born. The Infernal Charioteer is the fury of the Mother Goddess. Father Emmerich, I hoped you had left. I could not leave without first asking you something. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me. You are a man of great wisdom. Surely you know the pagan legend of Demeter. Nothing more than stupid, futile legends. I am surprised you waste your time with them. You do wrong to be surprised, given that they correspond to the manifestation of Satan in Calcaris. Evil has chosen the form of the infernal charioteer, the mother goddess, descended to hell to save her daughter Persephone. Be careful, Father Emmerich. Your readings of the forbidden books are corrupting you. One more word and you will be judged in the same way manner as those you have always fought against. And your threats are merely your hopeless defense. I wish you to draw up a deed in which you waver all authority and control over my actions, and grant me full and absolute powers equal to your own. If you wish, I can dictate the text to you myself. You are mad. Now go to Calcaris and... I will go. But first, you will do what I ask. Or are you so foolish as to think that I would not find out your true intentions? How dare you? Silence! I am talking now! Father Corona's disappearance is a mere pretext for sending me to Calcaris! The apparitions in the village are not merely hearsay among the foolish locals. The village is infested with demoniacal powers, which take the form of a spectral manifestation of the pagan goddess Demeter, as she is represented in Homer's forbidden books. How do you know of Demeter? It is my mission to discover the truth that lies under the veil of falsehood. You wanted to send me out among the wolves without sufficient information or instruments? When I reach that village, I shall do so with the greatest powers of the Holy Inquisition. 
Now, hand me the papal bulls ad abolendum, ut inquisitionis, and ad extirpandum. And prepare to write. You, bring me a copy of the papal bulls of the Inquisition, and a quill, ink pot, and sheet of parchment, and a hot wax. We, oui. Father Jean Vinet. I know that part. There's no need for you to tell me who I am. Very well. Here is the part you do not know. Grant you, Father Nicholas or Nicolaus Emmerich of Geroda, of the Order of Saint Dominic, full and unlimited powers of Inquisition in the whole region of the Longer Dark, releasing you of all constraints of obedience to our authority. Now I have no control of your conduct. You have achieved your aim. My only aim is to defend the truth and to eradicate heresy. This seal could be useful to me. Hand it over. It was given to me by the Holy Father himself. I do not know if... The Holy Father will be pleased to know that such a high symbol of authority lies in the hands of a true defender of the faith. Here, now leave. <laughs> You won't give me your blessing.